No Waste Communities. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 352. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 352, December 22nd, 2019 edition. One Community's goal, if you're not already familiar with it, is to bring other people with the consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet and to build sustainable and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And today, being just a few days before Christmas, let my hair down. I'm wearing my I Love You t-shirt. Happy holidays to everybody. Merry Christmas for those who celebrate Christmas. And today what I want to talk about, which is very appropriate for the Christmas season, is no-waste communities. Let's talk about creating no-waste communities and what no-waste communities are. For starters, what you see happening in the background of the video here are our housing models that are designed to be no-waste sustainable housing construction models. And the way that we do that is by building with renewable resources, by building with recycled resources, so they're actually net negative. Uh, so things like Shipping Container Village, Recycled Materials Village, which uses tires and things like that, built off of the idea of earth ships, uh, or straw bale housing, earth bag construction, which uses earth as its primary construction uh, material. Uh, with about 15% cement mixed into that. And then taking that idea and applying it, the idea of no waste communities and no waste living, applying it to all other aspects of the living experience. So looking at food and the idea of producing the majority, the vast majority of our food, growing it on site so that we're not wasting fuel transporting it, so that our food is fresher, so that we know that our food is not being sprayed with poisons, herbicides, uh, fungicides, and uh, being fed with fertilizer that kills off the earth biome, the soil biome. You know, drinking water that is clean, breathing air, obviously, that is clean, but also taking it to the next level as far as packaging for any foods that we are purchasing to be able to purchase everything in bulk and not bulk like you get at Costco where you have all these individual packaged things, but bulk like barrels of grains, barrels of legumes, barrels of food like that. And you could take that to other things as well for things like toothpaste if you're not making your own, shampoo if you're not making your own, soap if you're not making your own. Pretty much anything that comes in a small container could be purchased in large containers once we build those relationships with the providers. And we see that as a win-win. It's a win for us and the planet because as we're reducing waste, we should be able to buy it at a premium, at a better price, at a wholesale price, but it's also a win for the producer because if they can sell a barrel of product and sell it direct, it cuts out all the middleman. It eliminates all those layers of packaging, all those costs, and they could just be shipped directly to us. And we want to create those relationships so that other noise communities can benefit from them as well. And from that place, then, if people wanted to be able to visit one community and be able to get refills on their own products, and there's already grocery stores around the world, very few, but they are starting up where people can bring their own packaging, and then they could just fill up what it is. I mean, we could buy in bulk pretty much in any, any uh, grocery store nowadays, all the major ones at least, but... You can take that to the next level and say, well, well, what if we could buy in bulk things like toothpaste and shampoo and soaps and lotions and things like that, other products that most people are buying in individual containers? And then what if we took the other containers, the containers that we still have that are individual containers, things like jars and stuff like that, and repurpose those? So we have bottles that are repurposed into building materials. We have other material, other waste products that could be repurposed into insulation. And through working together, cooperating and collaborating together as a group, our no-waste communities can recycle more efficiently anything that we can't repurpose. So if we want to be able to recycle all of our glass, all of our plastic, all of our paper, 100%, we can coordinate, cooperate, collaborate on that just like anything else and do it better as a group. And so this idea of no-waste communities is really not that radical or hard to understand of an idea. Through cooperation and collaboration, just like an office decides to start a recycling program or a family or a school or any business wants to do that, we want to do that from a community perspective. And with a community of people thinking and creating for the highest good of all life on this planet, we're more motivated than the average person. Like we're thinking of how can we do this the best 
And then how can we look at our supply lines? So how can we look at what we're creating? Reduce our costs and our overhead, continue to reduce our carbon footprint, continue to reduce our waste until we get it down to zero. And even better, until we're building net negative. That is what one community is doing. And everything you see happening in the background of this video are foundations of that. Not just the food, the energy, and the housing, but also the education program, the economic model that's designed to run primarily off of ecotourism. But once we're established, we want to take an industry and say, what is an industry that we can become a sustainability leader in, a producing and manufacturing a product while simultaneously providing all the needs of everybody that is working together to produce that product? So we're not talking about factory labor here. We're talking about how do we create the most sustainable, efficient uh, model for constructing something possible and cooperate and collaborate on it. And we choose it because it's something that we all want to do. We say, yeah, we could really make a difference in the world by doing this. And we could change the entire manufacturing structure and cycle through that, demonstrating what is truly possible through automation, through radical sustainability. And we can create a new way of living, a new way of building products that is sustainable, and then leverage that and work with that to work with other communities that are doing the same thing, creating a global cooperative, a global collaborative, producing ethical products with ethical wages, and in our case, in an environment where we completely provide for the people that are working together to create those products, reduce labor hours, and a more enjoy enjoyable way of living than the way that people are living right now. This is our idea for no waste communities and creating a world that works for everybody. And so as we're in this holiday season and where most people are being great consumers, buying more stuff, throwing away massive amounts of packaging, throwing away, you know, all the old stuff that we have as we get new stuff. What if we were to look at a model where it's like, wow, we would need so much less stuff in general if we were sharing in a community like what we're describing and what we're creating you don't need a lawnmower for every single person, a washing machine for every single person, a microwave for every single person. We've combined all those things into cooperative and collaborative models so that laundry is handled for the entire community using less water, less detergent, and less labor than individuals would do. Same thing for food production, same thing for childcare, same thing for keeping the homes and grounds clean, all these things so that people have more free time to do the things that they wanna do and more things to do with that free time when you look at our social architecture model and all the different fulfilled living practices and everything that are incorporated into it as well. This is what we're doing. This is what we're creating and everybody is invited to participate. So watch the rest of this video for a couple minutes more that overviews each of the different components of our project. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like this YouTube channel. It really helps us out. Uh, comment. We appreciate that as well. Uh, follow us on social media. Uh, subscribe. Go to our website and subscribe if you'd like to receive a weekly progress update uh, in your email. And uh, with that, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. I love you. Have a great holiday season. Thank you. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, Part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is High's Good Education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to High's Good Education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.